<clears throat> we do have some cotton here. That's good. Since we're going to be taking off a manicure before we do a manicure. Hello, everyone. Welcome on in. Um, I'm going to be working on this today. <laughs> As you see, we've lost some PLAs, but I really, really enjoyed having this on. This was such a perfect, perfectly my aesthetic design, the uh, bronze and black. i um, going to get a quick Discord message sent. A quick tweet, twat, twitted, twote. We're going to do a tweet. Um, and of course, if you are in the future watching on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe if you enjoy nail art. And if you'd like to join me live, please feel free to come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. Um, these are the colors we're going to be working with. We've already done the initial bit of testing to confirm that these colors are going to work together. Camera, please. Hey, son. And I want to test... I think I want to test... These both had yellow base. I want to just do like a quick yellow versus white comparison and maybe also compare two kinds of swirls. Um... What do you think about that, Benny? Two two kinds of swirls? He literally, I was so proud of him. He wasn't up here and I called him and he came trotting into the room like a little dog. <laughs> so we do, in fact, get a bean today. What is going on with my janky little support here? Seems slightly jankier than usual. So that is the plan after of course we do peelies oh goodness hey Gidge hey Crafty hey Amethyst and a oh my goodness the beanie treats I'm gonna have to take beanie treats off of the redemption list <laughs> unless I get to the store dang it I also need to like wash my glasses instead of just like hitting them up with the microfiber cloth. That would probably be helpful. It's like you ever just like wipe the smudge that you saw and then like as you're wiping you're like shit my glasses are dirty as hell. <laughs> hey Beflor. Thanks Amethyst. It was kind of, I don't know, was like, just slick it all back. Just hope for the best yeah this this treat bag is for <laughs> like the scantest amount of treats maybe i should cut it back from three from five to three until i get more you ready for a treat is that why you came running when i called you because you know that there's treats inside of here inside of this room here when i'm doing the streaming thing did you get it yeah you got it <laughs> Oh, hey, two dudes. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I've still got tea. I've got like a lot of tea. I didn't really get up very much earlier today than yesterday as I fall asleep on stream. Um, but I tried to get it in gear a little bit earlier. It's not really that much earlier, but we can't skip nails again because. We're already missing four peelies. And because we fucking need to get a move on. So I, I've said before that like doing nails this late in the evening is not my favorite thing, but it is what it is. This one came off in like two pieces. <laughs> I, uh, Why do I feel like this is, whoa, whoa, hold on here, why is this, oh, oh, I see, I see here, 
there. Somewhat more steady. I feel like something else is like slightly crooked here. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that everything is currently lined up. Let's get you guys zoomed in, zoomed in a little bit more. Um, of course, the uh, puce situation. Um, I enjoyed it. It's beautiful. I'm sad to take it off, but um, I'm looking forward to the lemon lime design. I think it's going to be good. Dang it. I went to reach for my tea over here and I moved it so that I wouldn't continuously be blocking Beanie and I'm probably going to forget all stream. <laughs> you'd have to, I think you'd have to like find a shirt or something, son, and wear it. And then when people would go, um, you know, what color is that? Then you could tell them that's puce. Fuck. Yeah. It's long sleeves winter. It's winter. If you see me wearing short sleeves, it's because all my long sleeve t-shirts are in the laundry. <laughs> mm. So, this should be charged. I think I did the batteries and downloaded stuff off of it after our last session so that we would hopefully just be right ready to go for this. It's also not extremely warm in here. I actually wish it was a little bit warmer in here for water marbling, but I forgot to turn my space heater on immediately when I got up. Mm. You know, it hasn't been like warm, but it's been like Minnesota warm. The snow has been melting. There's actually not a whole ton left on the ground right now. Okay, so. I, I just feel like this isn't staying quite where I want it to stay today for whatever reason. Like it's just a little bit, a little bit wiggly ish. So actually I don't want to record yet. I'm, I'm scatterbrained. I slept really well. I slept really well, but I woke up like groggy. I'm going to say, well, if you're groggy, maybe you didn't sleep well, but I'm pretty sure I slept well. I don't remember, like, Bean didn't wake me up at all, but I don't feel like I had as much sleep as I did, as I know that I did. Why is this? We've got, like, we've got an edge here, but then it's, like, not, not the tip. That's what she said. Um... I swear I felt this catching, so I don't know why I can't find the edge now. Or was it this side that was catching? Yeah, this side is loose. So can we just take that over here? Right, it's lifting all here. It's stuck right there. We'll just have to see when we peel it how that goes. Capris! The fuck? De definitely no. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, no, I can't. I mean, it's so it's 70 in here right now, which is I mean, it's okay. It's fine. I'm not uncomfortable. But I would prefer it like maybe 73 for water marbling. And I don't know. It just, I guess it just depends partly like how you're feeling. Like some days I want a sweater. And if I know I'm going to want a sweater, then maybe I'll wear like short sleeves because the sweater obviously has long sleeves. But usually even with the sweater, I'm probably going to be wearing long sleeves in the winter. So we've got all our little pieces. I hope the rest of these come off nicely for posterity, you know.
so that we can accurately, more accurately than pictures, because pictures, honestly, you'll look at it and you'll go, man, that's a pretty good picture. But then, like, I don't know, hollows just don't ever show up as nicely, you know, in pictures as they are in real life. Oh, there we go. See that one part where it's stuck? What the actual F? And then just these couple more. Yeah. Except for the one that's like broken in half. That's a pretty good peel. Pretty good peel. Um. <laughs> I mean, our office, well, I always thought it was cool. I think most people thought it was cool, but I just had a little, uh, I had a lap blanket at my office job. Like I have, like I have it right here under my desk um hey Chigasaki welcome in okay so I was surprised that the white came out as white as it did over the yellow but it didn't come out fully white so we kind of have to decide do we want this slightly off-white creamy look or do we want white white um I also like I'm not decided on how detailed of a swirl I want I probably will just do swirl accent like uh, maybe ring finger and thumb rather than swirls on every nail since it is water marble march and I don't really want to do 10 cups um, mm. yeah I feel ill when I'm too hot too but that has to be like 90s to 100 not like 80s <laughs> like I definitely get heat sickness <clears throat> cool but humid that sounds gross that sounds super gross oh hey Lizzie <laughs> yeah we just finished you can check the VOD you can check the VOD <clears throat> there was only there was only six peel porns because I had already popped four peelies so oh hey another beanie treat all right Good night to short round. Beanie, your treat supply is getting so scarce. Maybe I should just order some from Amazon. This one is only a partially sized treat, but I'm sure you will enjoy it. It's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> and work prep time for son. All right, son. Oh, my nose is like feeling. So, okay, we've got strips here. <clears throat> I mean, at, it's the point of winter where it's kind of time to complain. Except it's like, I, I don't feel like people here can complain because it's not that cold. Like if the snow is melting, you don't get to complain about how cold it is. I mean, it doesn't mean it's not cold. It's just not fucking cold. You know what I mean? Like the difference between absolutely making sure you're bundled up when you're going outside and maybe not even having gloves on until you get in the car. Is that a weird... My scale of how hot and cold it is. Hey, Sapphire. Oh, that would suck, Amethyst. 
like dogs that's why dogs can have problems in the heat because the only place they can cool is their nose and their tongue they don't sweat <clears throat> Yeah, AC does dehumidify things. <clears throat> oh, wet, heavy snow. That's the worst kind of shovel. Not that I've done a ton of shoveling this year since I haven't had to shovel my parking spot. Um. Anyway, okay. So let's do half of this yellow. Um. I'm thinking... Like, I don't want to overthink this. There's a lot, a lot of different ways to do swirls. I'm thinking I want to keep it pretty simple slash traditional. So I think the two things I'm going to try are just one with four points and one with eight points and see which level of detail plays well with these colors. I think... When we were working on this before, where's the, where's the sharp one I was using for marbling? Um, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're all very dull. Maybe it was this one. Maybe I'll, I'll make it this one and file it a little bit anyway. Um, whoa, whoa, don't drop it. Sorry. I dropped it, but it only landed on the footrest, so that's fine. Um, like, swirls can turn out very different. Basinji, thank you for the host. Depending on what exactly you do before you swirl them. Like, you can straight up just do, like, an up and down pull. And, and spiral on top of that. Or you can draw more like a pointed flower type of a situation and spiral on that okay that's nice and sharp now sharp enough to poke you <clears throat> oh freezing rain and then the snow just <clears throat> let right up and then it's even heavier and wetter ew it's going pretty good we're we're in water marble march and so far it's going okay I don't, I'm not ahead. I'm not behind. I kind of wish I'd gotten an earlier start. I kind of wish I'd done nails yesterday, but it just, it didn't work out. I didn't feel like it. It was even later than it was today. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rings. Looks like we were working with probably maybe we could go to 12. Um, Yeah, so I'm I'm pleased I'm pleased with the amount of testing that we've done for Water Marble March already. Like the fact we already know these are our colors. Hello camera. And we just need to do a little bit more design testing is awesome. Chili sandwich wait, chili sandwiches. Uh I'm not like shocked, but I've just never heard of it because I feel like it would be difficult to keep it in a sandwich. We were talking I guess it wasn't quite the other day. It was a while ago. Um, about chili burritos. And that makes a little bit more sense because, you know, it's tucked in on the edges and it creates like its own little contained situation. Um, green, yellow, white. Or white, yellow, green. If we do a swirl, it's not super going to matter. We'll go lightest to darkest and then darkest to lightest, I think. Just and see. I think I might have done the same here, but we were using the orange also in this one. Faint as it shows on there. So maybe I, I haven't actually tested these both ways. <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, this was given kind of, whoa... You know, we were thinking citrus, but the orange that I had pulled, it just, it's so weak. It's so weak and the yellow, like, doesn't really stand out against it. And then the green just seems like an afterthought compared to, with the white, it just feels very springy and nice and bright. So, let's go. Mm hmm 
Ooh, there's, is there a hair in there? Maybe, maybe not. Might just be a weird thing the polish is doing. So this will be six, seven, eight. That was my computer, I'm sorry. Nine. Oh, we could do 12. 10, 11, 12. So, like I said, you could just like marble right directly on there. We, that's kind of uneven the way that that pulled. I got like a fat line and then like two almost invisible lines. Hmm. A little bit odd. It's not anchored at the sides either. I'll turn that off in a second, guys. I'm sorry. I feel like looking at this that it's overly yellow like I want more white maybe reversing the colors will fix that so that I have white at the center I actually kind of like that level of detail like if I do eight spokes it's gonna be really really quite tight <clears throat> and the white does still like I said hold its own this is with the yellow base and it is still white but it's just it's a it's a creamier off-white okay so this one will go the other direction. I think we'll still go for like 12 drops. That felt perfectly reasonable. Like almost could do more. Or maybe I want to do, hmm, six rounds of two drops each or six of, I mean, half as many, but twice as much. That doesn't make, I, like two and two and two and two instead of one and one and one and one but still 12 drops hmm we'll see how this turns out first so And trying to work very quickly here because we want it still wet enough to spiral by the time we finish pulling it together. Like the lines are quite a bit tighter and we did get more of the white like I wanted. Ooh, that's a hole. You don't want a hole. Hmm. I feel like that's like slightly too busy though. Like too many, too many spirals. You guys see the difference? Well, of course, also keeping in mind that this is going to be a spiral accent with, mm, maybe I should go with the more complicated one. Cause if you consider, okay, the spiral will be on a nail, but then there's going to be a nail to either side, like this section here versus like this section here. I need to not look just at the spiral. 
Maybe I should go in between that. Maybe I should do like six. I kind of also, somehow this one feels greener. The tighter one feels greener than the, like this one feels greener and this one feels yellower. Oh, hey, Luke. Did you get your level 100 yet? <laughs> Mustard mayo and relish. Ew. <laughs> that would be another like April Fool's type of a nail art. There you go, Bane. Nom nom nom. Still out and about. Out and about like grocery shopping or out and about like at the bar. Oh hi there, Dino. Are we gonna are we gonna have stories in the drinks channel later? Okay, I wanna do another another couple tests. Dino, I'm sorry, by the way. You would have enjoyed our last water marble, but you would probably not enjoy this one. <laughs> I mean bar is more likely, but I mean, you do need to get food at some point. Plus, usually then you'd be like, yeah, I'm at the bar. <laughs> or or maybe out and about means like between bars. <laughs> All right. So this one. Okay, we, we, have, we can do two more tests. We'll do two more tests and then we're gonna do the manicure. This one, I'm gonna do lightest to darkest, but I'm gonna end with the white. And we're gonna do six spokes, quote unquote. And see, I mean, it should give us something in between these two designs, which is what I feel like I'm wanting right now as far as color distribution and as far as intricacy of the pattern. So that's nine, 10, 11, 12, plus one more and on white. And then we'll go out and we'll do like that and then back and then swirl and we don't, we want to make sure the swirl goes like close to the edges. Like I said, if this is going to be a three finger dip, we need to be mindful, not just of the center of the swirl, but of the edges of the swirl. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot right now. Ooh, that, okay, that came off weirdly green. We got bleeding there, I guess. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Okay, so what if, what if I do... Hmm, okay. Like, if I wasn't, I, I want the white to go, like, I actually kind of really like that bleeding. But it's not, like, it's it's not what I'm going for. Um. So if we want to end with white, we need to go in the other direction so that the white, if anything, is only bleeding into the yellow, which is going to be light enough that it's not noticeable. Mm 
<laughs> Wait, why am I the one that's to confirm this? Why is that even necessary on there? <laughs> I mean even what even I almost did too Luke just <laughs> mm. <gasps> oh no well I mean at least it smells good but I mean oh no okay I want to try you know let's 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 do the two drips so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Okay, I feel like the green got thin and then the yellow is thick and the white didn't fully spread. But we're going to go for it and try and see. Um, We'll do the 6 again. I feel like that's a good test. Control. I don't know. Maybe I should have just gone with only one white in the middle. feel like like the points aren't coming together in the middle enough that's a little better all right so when we spiral this mm-mm I don't like that. I don't like that. It got weird with two drops of each. It got very weird. Okay, so that's a no. Hmm. Like, I, mm, I want to make sure I pick the right one to go on my nail. Because when I'm only going to do an accent, then I really want the spiral to be, like, on point. <laughs> the emergency applesauce. <laughs> but don't actually do that. I mean the five second rule exists for a reason but I think certain things like applesauce are probably exempt from even the five second rule although I mean if it dumps in a large enough pile not all of it's touching the floor just saying <laughs> hey Hambo Commando welcome on in this is called water marbling and you drip polish well you can do it with paint also i do it with nail polish you drop it into water you draw a design and then eventually like one of these designs is going on my nails like right now i really want to get something in between these two like that's not enough detail and i feel like this is a little bit too much detail and not enough white so i think what I want to do is an alteration on this one. So let's try this. Let's try this. One, two, three, four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that too much white? All right, I'm gonna go for eight. And again, trying to move quickly because, I mean, these dry pretty slow. We have a, a goodly amount of time. See, I should only have done one in the middle again. This is going to be too light in the middle again. Watch. I like the extra white that it's adding to these exterior swirls. But I feel like the middle of the swirl is not going to be colorful enough. Or I should have added like one more yellow and green in the middle. You know what I mean? Like this section right here. I mean, it definitely got me the more white that I wanted. Maybe I just need to add more white, like to one drop. Or to one ring, I mean. Do like all one drop of everything except like one of the middle-ish ones. Add an extra drop of white. No, I don't want white in between the green and the yellow, though. I just want the white to be more prominent. Like, in certain spots... I, it's partly how I'm drawing it, too, though. Partly it's... Ooh. Partly it's the way the polishes are acting, and partly the way it's, it's how I'm drawing it. I'm trying to, like, compare all these... Like this one, this one was really good, except for the way that the yellow and the green blended together. Maybe I should just. Okay, I'm gonna try this. And then I'm just gonna pick one. I know I just said this after the last couple, but we're, we're, I mean, we, I wanna move on to the nails too. <laughs> Yeah, I could do that. I don't like, like it's not just the center center though. Like this, like some of the wider parts, it's just, I, I don't like it. I mean, it's not horrible or anything. I just don't like it. Mm. Yeah, Luke, it's Water Marble March. <laughs> All water marbles all month. Doesn't mean that there might not be some combination techniques videos, but no, it's all it's only lemon lime because of the colors use, used. These, I mean, all these, none of these f are fails. You know, let's kind of let's just do like that. None of these are fails, right? They're just not quite what I wanted. If I was only going, like if I wasn't actually going for the center of the spiral, this wouldn't be a fail. You could still get good spots on the edges. Either one of these first two would be perfectly fine. Even this one, honestly, with the green bleeding into the white, I, I kind of love it. But then it just, it kind of takes away from the candy-ish look I kind of want to go for. What if? Now that would be kind of interesting, but no, that would involve a lot more testing because we'd have to find a clear to work with one of these. What? Do a spiral with either white and green or white and yellow and then do a spiral with clear and the other color? Blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Um... 
and mindful to get good drops on the green too. I think the green is the most empty of these three bottles. So I need to be mindful of that. One, two, three. What? That's not right. <laughs> Red, wrong color. Okay. Yellow and white and then clear and yellow. What happened to the green dino? Of course, with rainbows. Yes, I could intentionally add dimples in a 3D lemon or lime, but that's not what we're doing, Luke. It's Water Marble March, Luke the... Let's see, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Fuck, ninth annual. Ninth annual Water Marble March. That means next year will be our 10-year Water Marble March fantastical I don't know alpaca April I mean you could do that Gidge <laughs> I used to do oh gosh I used to do nail art April which was no water marbles all month after water marble March but nail art April didn't hang around like water marble March did all right one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to go with six. Okay. I'm so far liking the balance of color here, I think. I should have done a white in the middle. Mm. I mean, I, I should dip it out just to see, just to be. It might even have been enough. Yeah, I should have done a white in the middle. And I'm not sure. So this I like changed two things. I'm basically going for like this one, but I changed two things. I added the one ring that had two drops of white. I didn't add a white in the center and I did six spokes instead of eight spokes. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Twenty-five frames. Remember when I used to drop zero frames? Okay, I think I need just one more test. I'm gonna cram it on this strip though. In fact, I almost feel like hmm, like all of almost all of these, I'm getting a little bit of blending, blurring bleeding between the colors in the very middle maybe I need to cut this back to like 10 drops maybe that would be the solution that I'm looking for hmm okay
drag down the, the middle of the swirl, you mean? Like, shloom, shloom. I mean, I could. I don't think I'm going to. I mean, I like the way the sides look. I'm just not 100% satisfied with any of the swirly centers. Which is what I'm like. I mean, okay, so... An example would be... Hold on here. Um, I have one very much in mind. I mean, I suppose I could see how I did it, but I mean, that's not gonna... Oh, see, in that one I did, like, literally on every... Yeah, I wish I could get the the white consistency like on this. Um what kind of a zoom do we have here? Yeah, so like, okay. Can I hold on. Mm. Mm. You see how it's like, it's two shades of purple and then it's a white, but the white like holds its own. Like I want that, but with yellow and green instead of the two purples. I mean, that's what's in my head and we're not going to be doing it on every nail. So there's that also, but like, that's what's in my head and I'm not quite like, I'm just not quite getting that balance of color. Okay, I'm going to try one more. I think I know, like, you know, yeah, I think I know what you mean, Lizzie. Okay. I'm going to cut back to 10. And I'm going to do it with six. Or maybe, no, I'm going to cut back to 10 and I'm going to do it with eight. All right, so one, two, three, four, come on, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a really even bullseye. Okay. So, eight spokes. Back in. Trying not to dip a ton in the center either because that'll pull out the white. It'll exacerbate any bleeding between the colors also for that matter. I don't want to leave a hole though. And then... Hmm. How much can I like shrink the center and close that center swirl? I like to bring more of the edgy parts toward the center. I kind of like that. Hmm. I'm just going to get mostly just that edge. 
I mean, that's closer to what I want. Hmm. I'm just going to go for it. We're going to start the manicure after I give my cuticles a little tiny bit of attention. I think going with the 10 drops is good. I think I need to dip out slightly more of the white than I did there because that's still a slightly white center. I need to make sure the final green drop is extremely heavy and we'll get something that's in between these two. Like these two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I guess I can put these to dry. These are all our testing from last time. So, what, Beanie, where are you going? Bye, Beanie. Just arrange them on there, nice and flat. Let them dry. Put this, oh, we're getting a little bit of tint here. See how the water isn't quite clean? I bet it's the green. Greens have a tendency to do that in water marbles. Oh, Dino, I don't know. Every time I've tried to do a coffee water marble, it's been left me salty. Like, colors just don't want to do what I want them to do. All right. And it just doesn't, like, it doesn't end up looking like coffee art. And then I'm mad. I'm pushing back my cuticles and pushing off the peel, the peely that didn't come off <laughs> at the same time. Because I'm lazy. Kind of lazy today. I was, I'm really glad, like, when I feel this lazy that I didn't have to, like, figure everything out from scratch. Like, we had these polishes already picked out and put together. Um, this nail actually has a clear coat on it. I put it on it just to protect the patch. The patch is actually like not, I don't know. I can see stress lines in the patch that are like slightly worrisome, but it's almost grown out enough to cut completely off. So I'm not actually worried about it. Um, the patch on this nail seems to be holding fine, so that's good. <clears throat> so, we're actually on time-ish. Like yesterday, if I had managed to do the nail stream yesterday, it would have actually been slightly early in the week for me. So probably we'll only keep these on until Saturday. And then do one of the other designs that we we did we have tested so far. I'm not sure. I still kind of would like to find my China Glaze Coconut Kiss to test with those purples. So I don't know if we'll be working on that. I would kind of like some purples, but we also played with those uh, sinful colors purples. So maybe I'll do that next. So it's kind of kind of emptyish. Do I have? Yeah. Ooh. Just pouring some acetone. Yeah, see, where am I? Yeah. From the large bottle into the not as large bottle. I don't know why that sound just amused me so much. Okay. So. I'm kind of frustrated that I'm not 100% happy yet with any of those tests. But I'm just going to have faith that it'll work out fine on the nail. Yay, work prep done. What got on this little hair? Whatever. 
so getting rid of the rest of the polish that's stuck on here being mindful of nails with patches of course um is there still one did we cut the thumb no there is still one on the thumb that's right yeah that break maybe will be grown out enough to get rid of the patch in two more weeks or so It depends. I'm always like, oh, we'll see. Maybe I'll be ready to, you know, go a little shorter when it's grown out such and such. <laughs> Hello, Barney. Fried bean and cheese burritos? Like fried beans or fried burritos? Like refried beans or like fried beans? And like fried beans or like fried burritos? I'm picturing like chalupa chalupa style burritos fried burritos with homemade beans fuck yeah dino when are, when are mine going to be arriving in the mail question mark i mean if you have a mountain i think you should share with the class i got these pants and they're really comfortable but they're already getting pilly why is the comfiest, coziest material always do that? It's not fair. I want comfy, cozy material that stays comfy, cozy, and soft. I'm saying that's like more than enough for lunch. I mean, not that I even usually eat lunch, but I, rem I remember lunch and that sounds like plenty. Um, what we got going on here? A little bit of weird cuticle shit. Okay. So, definitely don't need to do any filing because I think we did a pretty good job on the reshape like sometimes after I reshape my nails I look at them and I'm like oh what was I thinking this is crooked or this doesn't look right or these aren't even I actually feel like I did a pretty good job reshaping them this time and don't need to just constantly mess with them for the weeks afterwards okay So, oh, I need to, no, okay, the tape is still out. What did I do with the latex last time, though? That should still be somewhere close by, but I need to make sure that I don't misplace it. It's kind of funny, because water marbling, as far as actually doing it, takes more, more testing more setup, more prep. But the actual editing of a water marble video is so much easier than like most other types of videos. Because it's so straightforward. And there's just like a couple sections. There's like base coat, there's base color, then water marble, then cleanup, then top coat, and then it's done. What is this little. Okay, where did my my buffer go here because that's a very rough section still peely area a bad thing and bought a giant bag of Cadbury mini eggs okay I don't understand those please explain to me also it's not a bad thing treat yourself um it's a simple little pleasure like are they just chocolate are they like a Cadbury egg inside with like the, the creamy, overly sweet, eggy, eggy, eggy colored looking, I don't know what is even in that center, frosting? Are they caramel? I saw, I think it was maybe on Twitter and somebody posted a bag of them. They were like, this is the best candy, hands down. And I was like, isn't it just a little chocolate?
solid chocolate with a candy. I mean, that's like an M&M, right? I mean, how? <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm not really a huge chocolate person, but I mean, are they just like big ass M&Ms? The regular filled eggs in many sizes. I mean, I couldn't tell you the last time I had a Cadbury egg. I mean, as a child, man, yeah, I looked forward to that shit. But as sweet of a sweet tooth as I have. I mean, y'all know I got a whole nother bag of those, those Kit Kat lemon Kit Kats. I will have you know, though, I haven't opened my new bag of lemon Kit Kats. Like, that's willpower. Um... But chocolate has never really been my thing. Better than M&M's. Better, better chocolate, better candy coating, or better both. I mean, maybe, yeah, it's probably better both. Because it's Cadbury and not, I don't know, who makes Mars? Isn't that what the M's are? Isn't that why they're M&M's? Because it's Mars. Mars candy. Mm. Sorry, little little cuticle nipper going on. Just a little bit of cuticle nipper action. Right. One regular size Cadbury up here. Both, yeah, okay. Yes, Sapphire. Yes, especially for Easter. Limited edition. If if your store has an Easter section, peep it out. It's like a bag of like single stick Kit Kats with lemon crisp cream coating. And they are pretty phenomenal, in my opinion. I mean, Kit Kat should do more interesting seasonal flavors like that like i don't know were there were there christmas kit kats what would that be like a mint i don't think i'd actually be interested in that eggnog kit kat oh i would be all over that kit kat please christmas 2020 do you hear me give me the eggnog kit kat <gasps> oh man i mean it, they already have like a custard flavor in japan as we know from our our searching of 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 kit kats on amazon the last time we really got into this kit kat discussion please give me an eggnog kit kat all i want for christmas is an eggnog kit kat that was a horrible interpretation but i mean you get my you guys get my drift you guys get me mm. also there's a video. Was it BuzzFeed or some shit? That I may or may not have stumbled upon in my YouTube viewing. Where the dude eats fucking a hundred flavors of Kit Kats. He did. He like. He stopped enjoying it pretty early on. <laughs> and I think he said this, the Sakura tea flavor was his favorite. Which we decided Sakura was. Did we decide Sakura was cherry blossoms or actually cherry? But that's what he said the best flavor was of the ones that he had. Mm. Canada doesn't get special stuff like that. That sucks. I got mine, Sapphire. I don't know if you have high V where you are, but that's where I got mine. I haven't actually searched around for them, but I haven't heard that they're like an exclusive or anything. I think they're just... A holiday special. Mmm, Kit Kats. Okay, guess guess who hasn't eaten again today? Because I've only been up a couple hours and I wasn't hungry until we started to talk about Kit Kats. <laughs> mm. Oh, you got them at Target. Okay, so they are available other places, confirmed. Oh, 
wait can they, so they 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 are or they already have released australian eggnog kit cats is this is this what i just read you tell me son i mean maybe i can order them on amazon question mark okay um, I probably will take a quick bathroom break once I finish my cuticles. Like super quick. Oh man. The the hangnail. Right there. Roar, get away. Get the away from me, hangnail. You also little hangnail. Go buy hangnail. Bye bye now. Huh. This side is still, oh my god. I feel bad sometimes, but then again, it's like, you know what? Gotta show people that it's normal to have fucked up cuticles sometimes. Like, I mean, it literally hasn't even been a week since the last time I tended to them and this finger in particular just gets out of hand really quick sometimes I'll use the side of the cuticle nipper blade as like a little scraper like this this sucker is pretty sharp but it's not as sharp as the cuticle nipper For some of these really stubborn spots on this nail in particular. Okay. A fancy box. Sweet cinnamon. Direct from the... Wait, are Kit Kats Australian? <gasps> Those do look fancy. Oh. 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 The Kit Kat Chocolatory. <laughs> Okay, like all of these. Okay. The new festive Kit Kat, Kit Kat flavors. All varieties in the collection feature Kit Kat's signature crisp wafers coated in chocolate, but each has a different twist. The coconut and raspberry lamington is described by Kit Kat Chocolatory as a unique twist to an Aussie classic and features coconut, raspberry jelly, and truffle. The whiskey eggnog celebrates the traditional festive spirit with whiskey jelly, nutmeg, and white chocolate, while caramel tiramisu boasts dark chocolate, coffee, and caramel. There's also almond berry trifle with ruby chocolate, caramel nougatine, jam and candied nuts well okay i couldn't eat that one wait there's five here though that's only oh wait there's two of that one fuck you australia kit kat i'm sad Re really really sad i don't know anybody to go to the australian kit kat chocolatory for me of course like probably would be not exactly the easiest or cheapest place to ship from I feel like I've ordered nail polish from Australia before and this shipping was ridiculous what brand would that be who's who's Australia based you guys okay a little bit better still dry the fog Mm -hmm. oh dry 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 cuticles oh they were so pretty like i don't think we even have any kit kat chocolatories in the u.s somebody somebody google that correct me if i'm wrong 
pretty serious picture polish and glam polish. I don't have any of those. Maybe I was thinking about ordering some and then I was like, whoa, shipping and did not. I mean, that sounds like a very odd comment. Where, where, where are those? That's not, is that another Australian thing? Shrimp and mayonnaise. Like, is that a combo? I mean, I've, I've eaten shrimp. I've eaten mayonnaise. I've never considered putting them together. Well, that's not true. There's some Chinese buffets have like a mayo shrimp looking thing but it also looks the same as one that some of them call like a walnut shrimp and I'm not sure if it has like a walnut oil in them so I just don't usually go buy them at all because I think they're the same thing Japan I mean Japan isn't the only country that has weird stuff they're just the, they're just like known for it the most and even like stuff that is you know, quote unquote, the same flavor is not the same flavor in all countries. Like cereal, American cereal is like extra sweet compared to pretty much every other country of the same kind of cereal. Okay. Cuticles, you always like, I feel like my cuticles always need more work. Like I could sit here and do cuticle things for like hours and there would still be cuticle things to do but we don't have hours to do cuticles we're going to finish that up okay Just look, I mean, compared to the others, it just stands out as being so fucking dry. Okay, I'm gonna go stop complaining about my dry cuticles. We've got our colors. We've got our base. We've got a brand new bottle of Sesh V. Okay. <laughs> Um, we've got our liquid latex, we've got our tape, um, let's put these away, our, our cuticle surgery tools, um, tweezer, we'll need a tweezer, and everything else I think is rest to go. So... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anyway I'm gonna go and take a quick bathroom break um where's the BRB so let me find you guys some music while I am gone I mean okay so is a chocolatory is it a chocolate factory sun or is it like a chocolate repository or is it a chocolate distributor i what is a chocolatory <laughs> road trip to toronto i mean i i don't see why you would want to keep the trimmings but I mean some people would say they don't understand why you want to keep the peelies I mean a lot of people find peelies pretty fucking weird but peelies are beautiful I mean I wouldn't be showing my nail trimmings to you guys like this <laughs> you know plus like every day how like I mean like I said I feel like I feel like I could just keep going at my cuticles for hours but I don't think that's actually true I mean eventually there's just not gonna be anything else there 
Like, literally. She said as she picked on one more little spot. With the nippers. Sounds like a My Strange Addiction level. When I would do my nails every day, which is generally, I said I was going to close that, didn't I? Which is generally when I was doing less complicated nail art, like more like stamping and just uh, manicures. I mean, I didn't fuck around with my nails every time. If I do it like twice a week, then yeah, the cuticles need at least a little bit of attention. But every day. Okay, let's close this so it stops beeping at people. And let's find you guys. You can design your own Kit Kat bar. Like, you get to pick... Okay. Son. I feel like I need to do that. Is eggnog... Oh, is eggnog a choice? Mm. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, hey, Zuli. Welcome on in. You're just in time slash slightly early because I'm just about to take a real quick bathroom break. Um going to give these super poor dry cuticles just a super quick little scrub also while I'm down there so that they look nicer for the camera and not so ashy but um basically just you know first rule of nail polish is don't don't not go to the bathroom <laughs> I saw it was it on uh, on bliss kiss was it the three p's p prep something p <laughs> it was like p was on there twice it's like yeah that's true. That's a true story. Because, I mean, I did. I, st I peed before I started stream, but, oh, that was an hour and a half ago, almost. Okay, apparently our super quick testing took an hour and a half. Um, that's never happened. <laughs> um, it, all, it happens all the time. It's a frequent occurrence. Anyway, unwritten return, Kevin McLeod, you know, you know how it goes. If you need your own bathroom break, your own snack break, whatever kind of break you may happen to need, now is the time. And if you're going to hang around, thank you for your patience. Hey, Michelady, I will be right back. Anybody that's coming in right now, I'm sorry. I feel bad. It's like, no, wait, but I can't wait. I got to go because then we got to go do this next. Um, Because like that feeling of having to pee with wet nails is one that we recently experienced. It's not fun. So I'm going to go do that. BRB.
You know how we talk about how dangerous it is to have naked nails and how that's the most dangerous time for your nails when they're naked and vulnerable? Fucking goddamn it, dude. I mean, it's minor, but like fucking seriously. Like, should I just leave it like that? Or should I, like, take it... I don't want to take it down that short. Oh, God, did I catch this corner, too? Maybe I need to. God damn it, dude. Hold on. So yeah, that happened. In the brief time I was away from you. Let's just do like that. That should be fine. It's just so irritating. I was trying to be careful. I mean, I was mindful of the fact that I had naked nails. And yet, I mean, now the question is, do I just leave my nails lopsided like this or do I take the others down a notch? <laughs> that was a fun one. I was mad that my webcam was not behaving because of course that's when it was not behaving. Of course that was before I had like multiple webcams to choose from. <sighs> what do you think you guys? Should I just roll with it for this or should I? I mean it's like two millimeters shorter than everything else now. <laughs> no option is gonna make me happy right now I'm dropping frames I'm dropping shit tons of frames 1300 1400 <laughs> okay we're just gonna sit here and let the computer think about its decisions for a moment and I'm gonna take these other nails down just a smidge <sighs> we are red we are orange we are red we are 1600 frames now Fuck you, Comcast. I understand why people hate Comcast now. Although, I haven't actually dropped a whole entire stream lately, so maybe I should knock on wood. <laughs> wood. Um. Like, I was really, I was in a good mood, and now I'm in, like, a grumpy mood. I'm not unhappy. Hey, Tex. I'm not, like, unhappy. I'm not mad. It's not like my day is not ruined. But I'm a little bit peeved. This is peeved. <sighs> yeah, I hope so. 2,000. We'll just, we'll even out these nails while we wait. Oh, that sound. That's the nail with the patch on it. The gel is pretty stubborn to file. I mean, it's it's not that hard to file. I should maybe call it pretty stubborn. That's not accurate, but... It's noticeably different than just filing an unpatched nail. Perturbed! 
I am peeved, perturbed, and vexed in the most sense. 22, 2300. Red, yellow. Okay. It's literally going from like 700 to like 5K. KBS. In like. Pooped. We'll just we'll just give it a couple minutes. We're evening out my nail. There's nothing to see here anyway, especially since I'm not even making an effort to put it on camera because I'm just trying to like get it decently as quickly as possible. I'm so irritated though. I would like literally wasn't I like moments before we went downstairs going, oh man, we did such a good job with shaping our nails last time. My nails look so good. Oh, God, no. I don't want to re-all that shit. I just restarted the computer anyway the other day. And the modem restarts itself automatically. Like, I don't know. Frequently. Oh, I just don't know. Dr. Crotron, or was it Luke? I was like, maybe there's a little noise in the line. Have a tech come out, like a dude. Comcast tech. I don't know. I've never had like a horrible, horrible tech. But I just know they're just looking for excuses to charge you extra money. For for like a service call. So I would just really rather not. Okay, we're back on a more even keel here. Okay, we seem to have stabled out. 2,700 dropped frames. Let's give it a minute and see if it's... The weird part is... Well, one of the weird parts, other than the fact that I literally used to be able to go 16 hours with, like, zero dropped frames. Like, I'm only set to 4K. Um, K KBS. Um, and when it's doing that, it's dropping really low, but then it, like, bounces back extra high. Like I said, it bounces up to, like, 5,500. And that's not even what I'm set to stream at. Like, why does it do that? I think I, that's a little better. A little more even. I'm mad I had to take this index down even further because it's already wonky because of the patch. And we had gotten a really good optical illusion shape that looked even, even though it wasn't even. And now I'm having to redo all my work. Actually, I'm also going to file my thumb a little bit more before we actually get started on the manicure because I was doing accidental inventories in Hollow Knight and that means my thumb is too long. <sighs> restart it? You have restart itself, you mean, Tex? noise hop and that's a lot a lot of frames dropped or a lot of kbs's i feel like i mean it's still 0 0.8 but like that's a lot of frames or does noise just happen and then it goes away on its own I mean, I use computers, but I don't consider myself technically knowledgeable, so to speak. Okay. Well, I guess, actually, the, my hands are about the same length now. So that makes me slightly less grumpy. Yeah. Yeah, just take the Kit Kat road trip. Also, where... Did I stick it in here? I had a thought. Um, and, and the thought was matte. The thought was maybe this lemon lime manicure would look really cool matte. <laughs> I mean that sounds like a good excuse to me Lizzie 
Well, we do, son, because otherwise, how else are we going to, like, Instagram our Instagram and Discord our custom Kit Kats? Hello, camera. 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 Please. Cuticles are looking better after a scrub. I think we need to zoom in a little bit more because we're not water marbling right now. Um, I'm gonna get a fresh, a fresh paper towel for the tutorial. <laughs> okay, small, small crisis is over. My connection is stabilized. We dropped 2,764 frames. <laughs> With awesome music playing. I mean, if it's only 8.5 hours for you, son, then it must be maybe around to that for me. A little bit more, a little bit less. Where's Toronto? Is Toronto like in the middle or which side of Canada is Toronto on? <clears throat> all right prep out the nails by cleaning them up with acetone make sure they're very dry so that we get good base coat adhesion east of detroit okay I'm so irritated by that. Whenever you're most careful with your nails, that's probably when you're going to break them anyway. Does that mean I should just never bother to be careful? Because I've done so many dumb things without a nail break, and then when I'm actually careful is when I actually break a nail. Seems like the logic on that doesn't quite work, but maybe... Canada is big. What cowboy festival? A cowboy festival? What? A bigger sky. <laughs> it, do they though? Because aren't there like some mountains in Canada? Those take up some of the sky. Isn't that why Montana's big sky? Because it's all fucking flat? You just look and all you see is sky. Or do I have a misunderstanding here? Which is super possible. Considering I ain't never been to Montana. I ain't never been most places. It is a thing? Okay. Yeah, I've literally been to like a handful of states and I've never been out of the states. Okay, our nails are squeaky clean. <sighs> I don't. Well. Okay, so. Camera. Um, <clears throat> missed a spot I did not I do have like patch oxidation on these ones with the gel on them though and I hate when that happens Gotta make sure. Is that? Ooh. I'm looking at where this break is. I 
I think it'll hold another week, but after this manicure, or maybe not a whole nother week, but it'll hold for this manicure, but then we're going to have to reinforce it. See that little crack there? I'm, I hate all these patches. I honestly, honestly do. I just have zero tolerance. Is this month in Calgary? The <laughs> Calgary. <clears throat> all right, you guys. Tis time. <clears throat> Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with the base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco Peely Base, and you can use whichever is your personal preference. One day, I suppose, I'm going to need to use up my remaining ready for takeoff but today is not that day and I'm sorry if you didn't hear Clark barking outside I feel like it's kind of loud but I don't know how the mic is picking it up didn't actually sound very serious but it did sound quite loud probably somebody daring to walk down his block <clears throat> where's Calgary in relation to the Kit Kat store that's how we'll just divide up Canada from now on east or west of the Kit Kat chocolate 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 la, la. Chocolatory. That's a kind of a hard word to say. Of course, I don't even know if I'm saying it properly. I've never heard of a chocolatory until today. And now that I've heard of one, I'm sad because there are there are apparently not any near to me. They're all in fucking Canada and Australia. Well, I guess Canada is technically not exactly far from me, but, like, it's not close. I can't go there. Okay. Pleb milk? Wait, what is pleb milk? Let me look at this. Where did you open? Here. Why are the hands blue? <laughs> Is it like a mug, a clear mug of milk? Okay, but like, why are the hands blue though? They're, are they in gloves? Are they just painted blue? I'm intrigued and slightly confused. <laughs> I did just drop more frames. Motherfucker. 1,200 more. Brr. Wait, probably like three what? Oh, one of those spicy chips? Three? Wait, no, the spicy chips are really spicy, Luke. You don't want three of them. Wait, wait, the, the gloves are for the spicy chips and then you need milk afterwards? Is that why? Wait, or did I just make like a, a extremely strange leap? They give gloves in the chip pro chip challenge. Wait, how many brands of spicy challenge chips are there? I don't feel like that's something 
that needs to have multiple brands. <laughs> Are you mad? Because yours did not text and then you touch something that shouldn't be touched with spicy chip dust? Like, like an eyeball, people. Or, I don't know, other tender flesh? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're green for the moment. 3970 is our current dropped frames total. I'm saying. Son, why would you do that? I mean, I don't know. Being anti-peppers for various reasons, whether they're spicy or not, this is not a problem that I've ever had. Uh, but I mean, it seems solvable. Just don't, just don't do that. Just don't, just don't do that. I mean... <laughs> like you say that McLady, and it just brings me back to the concept of butthole nails which we have we have discussed in depth here previously <laughs> dumb and lazy but like when you're cutting them up you're already in the kitchen right so you can just wash your hands right or just washing your hands and not get rid of all the uh, fucking capsaicin They are for your eyes. <laughs> yeah, so Zuli. Where where's the example? Not the butt not an example of a butthole. Except kind of. Okay, you'll see you'll see once I show you. You're like, I don't know if I want to see this. Uh oh, where is it? Uh oh, you guys. Where did the butthole test go? Oh no. Oh wait, here it is. Okay. So there is a style, kind of falls into water marbling since you do it in the water, of water marbling that is called the veil technique, which you see here, in which you pinch together a slightly dry layer of nail polish, and you create this rather puckered design. And hey, I'm right, we're talking about butthole nails. Um... <laughs> And the first time I did it was black over like a white base. And somebody was like, that looks like a butthole. And I'm like, you're not wrong. And so <laughs> ever since then, you know, I was like, well, I mean, I could do like an April Fool's nail art tutorial. We could have like a, a flesh colored nude, you know, sort of a base, like a, like a light tan. And then we could do the veil and maybe like a pink and I've had I've had this thought, this idea, like for several years now, just to like do butthole nails on April Fools, but like I haven't actually done it. <laughs> but yes, do it. So every like I'm like, oh my god, I I don't know about that, and everybody's like, no, do it, like every time. <laughs> that was one of the in the other testing one. That's what got called out because somebody was like. Ooh, you could do it with glitter. And I was like, okay, if we do butthole nails, they're not going to be angry, glittery butthole nails. And somebody apparently almost, I forget if they said they almost choked or just that they almost like spewed liquids or foods all over in laughter. But yeah, so. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Colette. And today we're going to be working on anus nails. <laughs> I mean, would I call them an anus water marble or just a butthole water marble? A butthole veil, actually. Anus veil or butthole veil. Because it's not really a marble because you don't like draw designs. You just do the pinch. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's, it's, I mean, we've got about a month to consider whether we really want to do that or not. <clears throat> anus sounds so much more professional <laughs> for today's water marble we're going to be using orly the green is mint mojito 
the yellow is lemonade and the white which I'll also be using as my base color is white tips starfish in your butt on your butt as a butt what does that have to do with with anuses or do you mean starfish unrelated to buttholes <laughs> I do I do want to include a veil technique in water marble march like a, a serious one um I think I like the idea that I had the other day of doing it over a gradient I think that could turn out really cool Like a darker to lighter gradient possibly even like using the color of the veil in the gradient so that in sections it's almost like invisible that might be cool <clears throat> wait are you saying that a starfish kind of looks like a butthole I don't think I can agree with that. I mean, I've probably seen more starfish than buttholes, but <laughs> I am not a youngin. <laughs> Come paint your nails. <laughs> I I very rarely do other people's nails. I was trying to think of the last time I did somebody else's nails and I actually have like no clue. I used to do my mom's from time to time, but I don't know. She doesn't she doesn't want to be on stream. But I could certainly do her nails off of stream, but it's like I don't know. I don't think I've painted her nails since I started streaming. She doesn't wear manicures as often as she used to just generally anymore though. So. If it's brown. <laughs> no, starfish and buttholes. <laughs> no, no, no. I, re I refuse to get on board with the starfish or buttholes bandwagon. All right, and this is a oh, this is a little bit patchy, I was gonna say, but it doesn't really matter because this is just our base color. So guess what we're gonna do? We're just gonna like it never even happened. All state or progressive or State Farm, I don't know. Whose whose slogan is that that I like to use, you guys? I think it's All State, but I feel like it could also be State Farm. Because who can possibly keep those separate? They both have state in their name. I think I just did it again. I'm knocking it against these bottles over here. Yeah, I did. God damn it. I'm... The fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? sounded like somebody's uh what you call you call them the power boxes not a power box it's not it's not the word for it but you know electrical transformer like it sounded like somebody's blew the fuck up <clears throat> you came for nail art you stayed for butthole chat <laughs> uh Wait, there's what on the Kit Kat store website? Scroll, computer, please. Just a flat, no. That's that's kind of a dick dick answer. Like they could expand upon that. It is your reason to now want to move to Canada. What? Because they just said no, no. 
Or you mean just because that's where you have to go? I mean, if I were going to move somewhere for Kit Kats, I mean, where else are there Kit Kat chocolatories other than Canada and Australia? I'm not going to bother cleaning that up because we're going to... We're going to be... The, the amount of beanie hair that is stuck to this roll of tape, you guys, is shameful. We're going to be really careful with our taping this time. <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't think she's anti-streaming. She just doesn't want to be on stream. Plus, I mean, I am an older generation. <laughs> uh, hi. Beanie. What's up? You want to get in your chair? Come over here, get in Beanie's chair. I Yeah, everybody can hear you. Let everybody see you. Up here. Get in Beanie's chair. Sir? Beanie. <laughs> he, he's, oh goodness. Let's see if we can do it. With slightly wet nails. Yeah, I didn't manage to catch it, Emery, because my schedule is so, like, fucking weird right now. But I'm glad that it went off well. I was sad that the race didn't get in. Yeah, you got up here real quick once there was a treat, didn't you? He's like, well, obviously. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> mm. Kinder surprises, I'm not... I mean, that's just like chocolate in a toy, right? I mean, as discussed earlier, I don't care too much about chocolate. Beanie. Beanie, get in your chair or you're going to have to, like, just be quiet because we're recording things here, sir. Did he leave? No. <laughs> He's just like running around my chair. I mean, it didn't like continue exploding. It was just like boom, boom. I mean, it didn't sound like gunshots and I don't hear any sirens, so I'm not worried too much. I mean, I still have power. I still have internet. We're at 4180 dropped frames now. I mean, yeah, it's okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's like natural selection, right, Tex? <laughs> okay, now I think he now I think he ditched us. <laughs> I mean, he's clearly trying to tell me something. Something. I don't know what though. Okay. I should have just mentioned in the other clip that I was going to do latex and tape and then I could have just done it but now I've got, got to narrate it. <clears throat> to protect her on my nails, I'm going to be using a combination of tape as well as liquid latex around the cuticle. Like that. Why won't that tape stay down right there? Oh well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Hopefully. Now we're gonna be super, super careful not to actually stick any of the tape to our nails, which have peel off base coat on them. Although that repair that I did for Poe Little Right Thumb last manicure like actually worked out pretty good. It was fine.
Okay. I kind of feel like maybe I should have pre-cut this tape. Like I've had this tape dispenser so long that I feel like the teeth are not very sharp anymore. It's like you go to cut the tape off and it's like, nah. Nah. Um, okay, I do want to do my whole hand. I was thinking about dipping for a while, because last time we did our thumbs together, so I actually held off on taping the thumb. But this time, mm, given that we're going to be doing the swirls as accents, each hand will only be two dips. I'll be dipping my pinky ring finger and middle finger together and then I'll be dipping my thumb and my index together fucking a tape come on God. maybe I should just buy a new tape dispenser I don't feel like that's something that you should have to replace like why can't I just buy a new set of teeth for this tape dispenser like does somebody sell that Somebody should. Maybe I should. That's that's my millionaire idea. Replaceable teeth for a tape dispenser. Most people probably don't even have a proper fucking tape dispenser anymore. They probably have those little single-use things that they sell. Which just aren't as nice. Because they're like... I mean, they're plastic. And they're flimsy. Like, you can't set them solidly on your desk. <clears throat> His food probably is not full enough and he probably went to go bug somebody else to give him food because it is like actually dinner time. Yesterday he was very chill. I didn't feed him until like 11 last night I think is when I took my break and he was just fine with that. <clears throat> so like when we dip in well you'll see in a second here you kind of go in like this so your your nails are catching the good part of the design and your fingers inevitably get some too but then this part X kind of like a shield and like there's not much left to get on the bottom side of your fingers beanie get in your chair get in beanie's chair what do you want use your words <laughs> he's like what he's like you know what i want is it dinner time beanie's so hungry beanie's starving to death he's skin and bones and gray fur I don't think that's true, sir. <laughs> He's like, but it is, mama. I'm so hungry. You so hungry? I got wet nails. I can't help you. And you don't like any of these smells. <laughs> He's so funny. He's like, he kind of wants to sniff it, but then he's like, ew. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> You would injure yourself in, pla in fantastic ways. I mean, it doesn't really look like it's intended to be removed out of there. But like maybe like with the with the pliers or something. Oh, or maybe oh that's what I could try. Of course, what would I use? Maybe I can just okay. It sounds like it sounds even like before I say it. This sounds like a horrible idea, but maybe you guys bear with me here. Maybe I could resharpen my tape dispenser's blades somehow. I mean, like with like a little tiny whetstone or something. My latex stretched. It. I mean, it'll, it stretches. That's why I like. That's why I like latex on the. So I used to use tape, and we'd go around the bottom with tape too. And then your knuckles are like. And I used to use latex, and I'd go around the front. And then it's like, oh man, your fingers want to stick together when you touch them like that. You'd be like, Tling, they're stuck together. Well, that's that was actually not the sound that they would make. But with this, we get non-sticking on the sides, and we still get knuckles. It can bend. Mm. Ooh, an old nail file. I know that's a good idea. 
I don't. I don't know if an. I don't think that would work though. A nail file is not going to sharpen metal. I mean, I'm sure this isn't like tempered steel or anything, but I don't know if a nail file is going to sharpen. Me like, I like the idea, but I also don't think it's going to work at all. <clears throat> yes, let's do it on stream. <laughs> yeah, just bu busy yourself over there in your butthole, Baney. And eventually you'll have food, I promise. How I broke my nail. No, because see, I'll have a manicure on so my nails will be protected. You are 95% less likely to break a nail when you have a manicure on. Yes, I made up that stat. Okay, let's get a little... No, actually, that's probably enough. That's enough acetone. Um, okay. So... We're going to clean off the surface. I'm actually going to hold the bottle of green so that I can maintain it at a good angle to get a good drip of polish. And we're going to go for... Which one? These are our tests from earlier. How can I like mark? I mean, you can't see the detail there. Okay, let me move this again real quick. I always am paranoid of spilling the cup of water. For obvious reasons these are our earlier tests this was this was these are like our initial test ignore the one with orange on it and then these ones were our spiral tests and they were all like a little bit different going for kind of the in between this and this these were like the same this was 12 drops with eight spokes and this was 10 drops with six spokes. I kind of wonder if I should go back to the eight spokes, if that's what was making the center nicer. Of course, this one was only four spokes and I like the center of that better than the center of this also. I just need to make sure that the center Maintain some white, but not quite that much white. Definitely not that much, but that was a two drop experiment. This one would be really good if we hadn't gotten like bleeding so that the white turned like light green. Hmm. No matter, even if I think I have it down exactly, I'm probably going to have problems once we actually start doing it anyways. Let's just go on. That sounds about about right too, Emery. I've never been a nail biter, so I cannot confirm that one myself, but I would think if you put in work to paint them, you wouldn't want to like chew off your hard work. Plus, I would assume that nail polish tastes nasty. Where Okay. So, I st something about the way my ring light is today just feels wrong like I don't even know what it is maybe it, it's my whole thing I might just need to readjust the whole arm you, you gonna behave yourself for a hot second here Beanie <clears throat> now I broke my hand how I broke my old tape dispenser, you guys. Mm. Wait, what's going to turn purple? <laughs> no, we're, we're this, this is going to work. It's going to it's going to be good, you guys. We're fully dry here. You can see we've gone to a a subtle pearly white. I love the way this shit looks when it dries. And yeah, make sure these are open and loose. Yeah, okay, going for 10 drops. Oh, ba battery, are you joking me? Okay, fuck. With all this tape on my hand, now I get to change my battery because my camera loves me. You know what, let's... How do, how do I want to do this? 
because I couldn't just start blinking before I put the tape on because that would just make too fucking much convenient sense. Uh. Okay, we do have our other battery ready. Plug this in. Because if I don't plug it in right away and I go, oh, I'll just do that after stream, like inevitably I forget. And then next stream, my battery will die and I'll go, oh, fuck. I never charged that battery. Everything and also my tape dispenser. It might, you know, my tape dispenser is very boring. It's very just like you know maybe I should water marble my tape dispenser okay hold on here okay now I got now I got an itch on my face okay here we go sorry for the jiggling whoa See, okay, so this would be what would happen like all the time and everywhere before I started doing the mixed method. Okay. Make sure the webcam is level and the tutorial camera is level. That'd be good. Okay. So. Now we can go. Once I once I get this perfectly centered in the in the camera screen again. <clears throat> okay, ready, guys? We're ready. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> As usual for water marbling, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room. To okay, that's okay. Wait. We didn't clean off the surface first. That's not a good spread. So that means there's little tiny microscopic invisible things on the surface. So we do like that. We let it dry. Do you guys want to be a little bit more? Sorry, you guys get like the more angled view so that the tutorial camera can get like the more top down view. I can maybe move it a little bit once I'm done recording. Or should I zoom you guys in a little bit more? Do you guys want to be closer? Maybe a little bit closer. Like that. Okay. <clears throat> you cut yourself every time. Be careful. Keep your fingers away. Okay, your fingers should not be anywhere near the blade. What? Oh, a bit too minimalist. What does it look like? An Ikea tape dispenser. That is not something I have seen. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <clears throat> As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Once you have your bullseye drawn, you can go ahead and start drawing your design. I'm going to start with about eight sort of spokes. 
out from the center. Then I'm going to draw back in between them. Then once I have that finished, I'm going to draw the spiral on top of that design. The more spokes that you do, the more intricate of a spiral design you're going to get. And my fingers just started drawing eight. I think we were going to do six, but well, we'll see how this goes now. Okay. <clears throat> Once you've got your design drawn, you can go ahead and line up your nails. I'm going to be dipping three at a time with the spiral on this case, an accent for my ring finger. So I'm kind of just looking at the sides and edges to decide what other areas I want on my pinky and middle nail. Then I'm going to go ahead and dip in, clean off the surface with my orange stick, although there's not a lot of excess polish when dipping three nails. You still don't want any of that to stick on top of your design. And then once I've made sure everything is clear, go ahead and slowly pull out. And there's the water marble. I like to use a tweezer to help me remove the protection, so I'm just going to grab it on one side here and then pull off the rest. And once I've removed it all, I'm going to finish marbling the rest of my nails. I think the ring finger didn't get a ton of green, but I like the spiral of it. And I like the designs the other fingers picked up, so this is this is okay. Come on here. Yeah, that's okay. Not like my favorite thing ever, but it's okay. And now we got to stick with the eight because otherwise the other nails will look weird. Uh, three, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, in. Ooh. We are not fully anchored to the sides here. Could be a problem. Okay. Oh, we're moving here. Anchor, please. You want the polish to touch the sides of the cup so that it doesn't move when you start drawing in it. All right. That's a little better. It's still moving some, but a little movement is kind of unavoidable. Okay, so for thumb, an index.
Oh, that dip made me nervous. I don't know how the index, the index feels like it went in really crooked. I mean, not that there is like a super crooked way of doing this, but I feel like I might have gone closer to the edge of the spiral than I really wanted to. Yeah, it's okay, but yeah, I hit the edge of the design. I hit outside of the first ring of the spiral. Probably nobody else will notice, but I do. This thumb is great though. I like that a lot. Hello, please, please let me grab you. Latex. Camera. Now we do have bubbles and this time we're gonna remember to press, press the bubbles flat. Like overall, definitely didn't get quite as much green as I wanted in the swirls, which we could put more green in the center, but then I think it would have had too much green. And we didn't want to put the green right next to the white because then we got bleeding. So under the circumstances, this is pretty good. The part on this nail I was talking about, see the corner there, this little part right here, that's, that's like outside the ring of the spiral. I don't think anybody else will notice. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, the Ikea tape dispenser. Mm. What's this? Oh. What is it? <laughs> Is it metal or is it plastic? I mean, I don't feel like... Okay, so again, that looks to me like the disposable ones, except it's made out of something less disposable. Like, you can't operate that one-handed. Which is what I like about this one. Because when this is sitting on a desk, I can, you know, it's, it's sturdy. It's like, I don't know. You just heard me set it down. Like, it's fucking hefty, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't like that tape dispenser at all. It, it offends me. It offends me in my soul. Mm. Yeah. Like as far as the spirals go, I like the thumb more than the ring finger, even though the thumb is leaning more yellow and less white. And I thought I wanted more white. Yeah, the other nails are looking really good. Okay, so let's get the other hand taped up. Uh-huh. And then we'll do two more cups. And then we'll move on to cleanup. You know what? Try real hard to not have an accident here. Okay, I probably shouldn't have taped my thumb first. Maybe we should take that off and reconsider. <laughs> all right, okay, you're really stuck on there, tape, and I don't want you there. Okay, let's do all of our other nails first so that we have full use of our thumb while we're doing this. Like, it's cute. I feel like that dispenser would look really cute on a desk, especially if the desk were covered with other Ikea-esque accessories. 
but like it's not functional it's not it's not functional as a desk tape dispenser it's like it yeah i don't know like i said it reminds me just of a disposable one just like a fancy disposable one so for the right hand because i'm still going to be needing to pick up brushes and stuff we'll take the tape and we'll do we'll make little packages as i like to say we just fold it down and around i don't bother with my left hand because it's just not necessary and i actually feel like kind of it protects as we were discussing earlier the underside of the finger more when i don't tuck it but i can't as as ambidextrous as i am um it's i find it very difficult still to uh do the bullseye like left-handed like i just can't quite the precision isn't there to get them like centered centered so okay and also like with the orange stick too i mean i i can draw left-handed if i absolutely had to but i would prefer to draw right-handed <clears throat> Yeah, I wonder if they would stop you from taking it on a plane. Oh, controller. Excuse me. A sticky situation. But I'm I need a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think even with just those first two, oh, we need to clean this again already. You see how slow and weird that spreads out when the surface starts to get a little bit dirty. Um, even between the first two, I mean, you saw, I feel like spirals in some ways are even more prone to like some of the random problems that you have with water marbles than other patterns. I mean, we did quote unquote exactly the same thing oh there's a lot of bubbles there and look how differently they turned out i mean yes i understand they're the same colors and they're both spirals and whatever but like look they're they don't look at me and say i'm crazy for saying they're different they're different um and sometimes i'm more careful about like um the number of swirls that i do i wasn't counting these but i'm pretty sure i was pretty close my instincts <laughs> my instincts were counting but even with that i mean part of it was like i said how much how much white gets dipped out of the center as we're drawing the uh the spokes um i don't know where exactly specifically i start my spiral oh guys do we switch we're on our other hand. Do we switch our, our spiral direction? Do we go clockwise? I need to decide in like 20 seconds. Oh, I don't know. minor decisions that i obsess about far too much i kind of want to we're gonna do it it feels kind of unnatural and i might in fact forget for the second one but we'll try to remember counterclockwise is just how i normally by default spiral but i do like my hands to be like mirrors of each other so See, that's kind of a wonky center, but it's still clean, but the spokes are uneven. Okay, clockwise, clockwise. Ooh, pulling, moving. Mm. Oh, I like that one. I think I like that one a lot. I want to. Mm. 
Okay. Sorry, I'm cutting a little bit of you guys' view as we clean up here. Okay, okay, how... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's my favorite one yet. Don't ask me exactly why. It's not that different. It's It's got a, quite a good amount of green on it. It's got more green than either of the other two. You see that, like, right there, kind of at the tip of the nail green? Mm. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Lurking, waiting. Wait, what's under the sofa? Now you wonder where what is. Wait, the, the tape dispenser? The tape dispenser is under the sofa? What is it doing under there? Kicked under there after Christmas wrapping. Fuck you, tape dispenser. <gasps> you guys. Oh, you guys. I'm dumb. I am dumb. I am dumb. Did anybody try to stop me? I don't think we did, because we were doing tape. You guys. You guys. <laughs> Ah! We didn't do any fucking latex. We only did tape. I'm so dumb. Oh fuck. And uh, I mean, we're fine. The underside is fine. The tape protected the tips of my fingers and the side of my fingers. And oh, fucking fucking a, dude. Like honestly. Oh, well, you know what? You know what? It's fine. Nobody will know. Except for you guys. I'm like, I'm sitting here. I'm like, where's the edge of the latex? Then I'm looking. I'm like, there's no latex there, you dumb bitch. You didn't put any latex there. <sighs> well, this will just be a lesson in how to clean up when you don't use latex. It's not. The, it's 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 fine. It's honestly fine. It's not a huge deal. Oh. Hi, Tay. I just fucked up. I don't think that'll work. We'll try it. Let me just carefully get a piece of tape over here. I don't think it's going to work, though. It's, it's on my skin. Oh. Okay, that didn't cover up very much of it. No, it's not. It's not. It's that's not gonna work. Get get on there. Get on there and get off of there. Nope, that's <laughs> it'll also take a plunge. Oh take son's dispatcher, it'll also take the flash off, yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine I mean, yeah, no, it's fine. You know what? Cause guess what? I could do it on these last two fingers and I'm not even gonna bother. Cause fuck it. Fuck it! fuck it just fuck it but anyway yeah that's that's why we use latex actually this isn't really even very bad possibly because i was doing two fingers i mean we could have been all the way like up to my knuckles knuckles deep in nail polish <laughs> hi tay you you are here in time for the last last cup. We have tape protecting the sides and undersides of our finger, but we're supposed to have latex protecting our knuckles, and we don't, because I'm dumb. Man. At least I remembered for the tutorial section. Fuck, that's not spreading enough. Oh, and look how weird the green spreads. Okay, sometimes this happens. We got thick white here, and then it gets all skinny here, and the green, like, presses it out. I don't know why that happens sometimes. Sometimes that'll happen even when it spreads fully in the cup. It'll like start drifting to one side. Like the green did over here. And you just lose like some of the rings. <sighs> it's not a big, it, it's not a big deal, but I just prefer protection. 
it's neater, it's easier, and although, I mean, I use a lot of polish remover, I figure that anything that reduces my exposure to polish remover is a good thing, especially in winter when I'm already dealing with, like, extremely dry skin and stuff. Because, I mean, that's, that's the main thing with acetone, is it, like, dries your skin so much out. <clears throat> yeah, like, you don't... When it gets to my knuckle, like, that indicates to me that, like, I'm not dipping properly. Like, okay, so here's the cup. And when you dip in, you know, you should just dip in, like, you know, dip. And the water level should be... You don't need to dip your nails in more than your nail depth. You know what I mean? If you're dipping in, like, if you're... You know, you don't... You only need to go in that far. If you go in that far, like, you're really in too far... But sometimes it's hard, and you also, like, you get, sometimes I get paranoid, like, when I'm cleaning the surface, so then they, like, start creeping in more. This is really very moderate, and it's perfectly fine. The butt marble. <laughs> okay. One more cup. We got a clean surface. We got this, y'all. One more cup. It's gonna be the best one yet. It's gonna be the best one yet. Three, four, five, even though, can you guys see at the very edges here, like it did not spread all the way to the edges? Like there's just a rim, like right there of water. This, in, in this case, hopefully the spokes will take care of it. The spokes will anchor it. Especially if I'm mindful to take them all the way to the edge. Like, that's weird. That kind of, to me, indicates that maybe my water is actually dirty. Like, I didn't wash my hands well enough and some lotion got in there or something. Just a little bit. It doesn't take much to contaminate the water and make the polish start spreading weird. Okay. Okay. Maybe I should be drawing, like, heavier on the spokes to pull more green into the center. I don't know. Clockwise. I'll blame it on that. I'll blame the forgotten latex, even though, like, the time that it should have happened was way before we started having this existential crisis. I'll blame it on, on thinking too hard about whether to go clockwise or not. Okay, so again, thumb an index it's it's an awkward dip i actually prefer thumb and pinky if i'm gonna try and do a whole hand in two dips but the problem with thumb and pinky is that then if you're doing accent nails then your accent nail ends up on your middle nail and that's not actually where i prefer my accent nail okay lining up and dipping and again, I feel like my index maybe hit the edge of the design. Hi, Bainey. Did you get somebody else to give you food and then now you come back? Now you can come hang out with us again? Yep, that's the edge of the design. Fuck, why does that keep happening? Like from, whoa, 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 from that green line, that's the edge. Is it, it's cause of the way, like if I, it's cause of the way I hold them, I think. Like, okay, let's put this out of the way so we don't knock it over since we're done with it. And let's take this off while the polish is still wet. I think it's cause it's a little easier to hold the index nail at a little bit of an angle next to the thumb then straight on like if I'm dipping these three together I mean they're like right next to each other right so we have the spiral and then we have either side of the spiral when I'm dipping the thumb like if you go like right next to each other then they end up at an angle if you have like you know you picture the water surface is flat right here to get a more flat to the water it kind of ends up at an angle like this and then you have the spiral and then while well, the nail would fit in, like right here, fine. 
Like you almost could see. It's actually like right next to the thumb would be fine. It like goes right where that green line is where it cuts off the design. Am I making sense? Yeah. It's the angle. So I I need to consider that the next time I do I do uh spirals as accent. If I can maybe either remember to start like an extra ring to the outside or if I can try to what maybe move it like more like this than like this that might work Ooh, yeah hey this is water marbling I don't know if you've seen any of this yet I don't think I've done any since Christmas true story I think So, but I mean, okay, especially, okay, especially this is not a problem because I mean, it's yellow and white and green. If this was black and red and dark blue, I might actually cry. I mean, I probably wouldn't actually cry, but I would be more mad than I am. So we're just gonna. Get in there with our Q-tip. Because the cotton of the Q-tip will actually grab some of the polish instead of just like with the brush. Like the brush doesn't have a lot of room to, to grab a polish, if that makes sense. So I always do bigger sections like that. And now, I mean, they're pretty close. Meh. Oh, you watch my YouTube videos. Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> So you do know what's up with the water marbling. Oh, man. Yeah, it, I, okay, I do that on a surprisingly regular basis. That being forget to put on protection, period, or to forget to put on half of it. <laughs> As a child, I don't even remember what friend had this birthday, but they had their birthday party at, uh, I think it's called Made of Scandinavia. Does anybody know what we're t what I'm talking about? And we got to fucking make our own peanut butter cups. I, we made some other shit too, but the peanut butter cups like left this impression on me. Like this is the best fucking thing ever. Best birthday party. Best anything. Making my own candy. Are you joking me right now? Like if I if if I ever had a kid, which like honestly probably I won't, but like that's the kind of birthday party I would want to give if I you know if it was gonna be like a fancy schmancy birthday party, I guess that doesn't even qualify under fancy schmancy considering, like the really ridiculous stuff people do. But yeah, it was like you know, it was I mean it wasn't like a ton of kids, maybe maybe half a dozen or maybe eight or so, and we got like you know. You know, they made it easy for kids. I mean, I was maybe definitely under 12, maybe as young as like seven or eight. Like, I don't have clear memories of this, but it's just like the memory of making my own peanut butter cups is like what stuck with me. What friend was it? How old was I? I don't know, but I made my own peanut butter cups and it was fabulous. I don't even remember if like if they were tasty. Like, you know, I mean, there's a wide range of peanut butter cups, but just like making my own peanut butter cups was so wonderful. You know, they give you like a little, little plastic mold, little thing of chocolate squirt in there, a little peanut butter squirt in there, a little more chocolate. And... Oh man, fuck now I want peanut butter cups. <laughs> One of these days, you guys, I'm going to eat before stream and just imagine me not being starving while I'm streaming. Just make your own Kit Kats every day. I don't think Kit Kats every day would be a good idea. Which is why I've held off on eating Kit Kats and I've been eating fudge. <laughs> um, where's, where's my, wait. Where's my cleanup brush? Um, oh, here it is. <clears throat> I don't really have too many big spots here. A few. <clears throat> I 
Once you're done marbling, you can move on to the cleanup. I'm going to use a Q-tip for some of the larger spots on my fingers and also for the underside of my nails. And then I'm going to go in and do closer cleanup with my usual small brush dipped in acetone. You gotta switch it up with your with your dessert options. The fudge is honestly like been so good. I've been trying not to like eat it all and I think it's officially like lasted me over a week. So I feel like I've succeeded in not uh, stuffing myself with fudge. But I've still probably eaten way too much in a sitting. Because I had it like for dinner that one day. <laughs> just because I just, I started streaming and I hadn't eaten and it just happened. Oh, we got like a little goober there. <laughs> There, that's better. The cleanup brush is the smartest addition to nail art since fucking quick dry top coat. Especially for messier types of nail art. Only thing that maybe changed the game more than actually a cleanup brush, clear stamping heads. Them clear stamping heads are a game changer. Kids nowadays don't realize what stamping was like in the olden days. That Conad stamper was so pink and so hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> the bubbles the bubbles are quite quite fierce here that's very dirty don't press your bubbles flat with an overly dirty orange stick. You might get like cross contamination. And you just want to get like little air bubbles out. Man, the thumb has a ton of them. small ones and big ones and I just push them like with almost a little scraping motion padding and scraping in the direction of the design mostly mostly because otherwise you can like it can if you're right on a line and you push it in the opposite direction of a line and it like you know, lays down, it can make like a little wiggle in the line, if that makes sense. But after forgetting on the puce water marble, I'm gonna try and be a little bit more mindful on the rest of these. Yeah, the first three nails barely have any. Maybe it's because of how long I hesitated on the dip? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah i i don't stamp super often but it definitely it definitely has a learning curve like it seems like oh easy nail art and it's like oh actually just nail art with a different set of problems but there are definitely some uh best practices you can do it Tay. you just need a little practice I thought about having a, like a stamping month or something too, which is a thought I've had before to like get me to use more of my stamping plates. Like maybe stamp timber. Also because people seem to really, I don't know, 
like enjoy having a series to get hyped up for like people love 12 days of christmas people love water marble march and they're both kind of like winter-ish events i mean i guess water marble march maybe could be considered spring it's it's fuck is still winter here in minnesota as far as i'm concerned um Wait, move to move to the mall so the cats can run around. Mm. Yeah, it really was Zuli. I looked around too. I wasn't looking for that polish in particular. There are still a handful of sites out there that have colors by LaRoe in stock. If I ever like use one and you guys are like, man, I really want to hunt those down. I don't know if Colors by LaRoe still has on their site like a list of their former stockists. But, like, I know that Harlow and Co. used to stock them and still has some. Uh, Hypnotic Polish still has some. Um, oh, I'm, I'm trying to remember. Those are the two that I just, like, off the top of my head one day just went and checked. I know there were at least, like, several other sites that used to carry them that may still have some. So... I suppose they'll get more and more rare over time. I don't know. Maybe eventually they'll go back to like more production right now. So colors by row, like they've gone through several phases. Like they were selling other polish, then they were selling their own polish. And now their polish is basically like very limited edition stuff that shows up in those monthly boxes. They don't sell on their website anymore. For a couple years, they actually had, in addition to their collections, they would have a limited edition polish of the month every single month. And, uh, man, if there's one thing that gets me, it's limited edition colors. Because, man, even if you think you don't want it, what if you change your mind later and you want it, but you can't have it because it's limited edition, so you better buy it now. And I have, like, a, a pretty large Colors by LaRoe collection because of that. Because every time I would order a limited edition polish of the month, I'd need, or I'd need to order enough to get free shipping, of course. So I was getting, you know, half a dozen a month for a while. Because it was always easy to find, like, some more that I wanted. Because their polishes are just fucking awesome that really dark teal hollow that i wore for almost two weeks straight was a colors by LaRoe. so i have really good colors really good duochromes really good hollows that's on my list dino no you don't have to beg me dino it's on my list i don't have the colors that work appropriately for me we even did a test for it we uh where is it Okay, it's not any of those. Here it is. Um, I think these were new bars. I think the purple actually is new bar peacock. But I decided it was too dark and it needed like a gold or some kind of accent in there um, to break up the purple and teal. Camera, do you just hate me? Yeah, it's, it just it came out way too dark. It's on my mind, but I really want to find appropriate colors for it. And sometimes that's the worst, like water marbling and wanting to find exact particular colors to water marble with honestly is a bad idea because you're going to find the color and then it's not going to work for the water marble and then you're just going to be sad or you're just not going to be able to find the color at all. And then the water marble just never happens. All of the stuff that we've tested so far for Water Marble March was more spontaneous. Like, I just started looking in drawers and pulling stuff out and seeing what went together. And, uh, see all these bubbles? And that's, like, how both the testing sessions kind of went. Just slowly push them out like that.
But yes, Peacock is on the to-do list of water marbling. And you can still see like where the bubbles were, but you can see how much flatter they are. Um, and sometimes even with this, if you have a lot of bubbles, see this is a good example, this one right here. It's like in the middle of the lines. If I were to push it flat this way, you know, it's a, it's a hump. If I were to push it flat this way, then the lines would no longer look straight. So we want to push it in line with the lines. Like this one doesn't really matter because it's just in the middle of yellow. So whatever way you push it is going to be fine. Yeah, both hands, the thumb and pinky ended up with so much more bubbles than the other nails. <clears throat> Mm. 18 items on the CBL site. What is it polish? Is it like leftover polish or is it something else? I'm curious now. I haven't looked there since uh since the, I don't I don't want to call it a going out of business sale cuz they're not out of business. It was kind of like a clearing out the warehouse sale. Okay, so making sure those cuticles are nice, round, clean. Because it's not just, it's the optical illusion for number one. As we've discussed so many times. I feel like we discuss a lot of stuff a lot of the time, but then we always like put a new little twist on it or something. <laughs> Hi, Conra. Yeah, we had it it turned out pretty good. I think I think this one is my favorite. We got that good little green swirl right there. The rest of the spiral is pretty clean. This thumb is also good. Hopefully the bubble residue is not so obvious once we finish with the top coat. I hate it when I push bubbles flat, but then you can still see like where the bubbles were. But usually top coat fixes it. Oh, and we got after top coat, we gotta decide if we're mattifying this. Maybe I'll wait until like tomorrow or Friday to mattify it. That would be good. I might not make it into the tutorial. But I could take pictures to to show somewhere later in, in you know the next nebulous future where I start posting on my blog again. <laughs> Mm. Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. Oh, is that, wait, is that a real person? That is, they have a polish called that. I own it. I was like, who's the Sausage King of Chicago? What, what is this? Oh, wait, that was what Sun said. Well. Oh, that is one of the 18. Oh, I see. I see. I'm falling behind on chat. Polish and a couple of nail care things. Um, often, no. But sometimes, yes, Tay. Um, glit like glitter is like a twofold challenge. Like a lot of times, depending on what kind of a base the glitter is suspended in, like if it's suspended in just like a clear base color, Sometimes that base color will tend to dry really fast, which is not nice for marbling. Sometimes if they're just in more of like a slow drying base, but the glitter itself can be a struggle to water marble with. Like you see how nice and smooth like these lines are, camera, any, yeah. Like nice and, you know, smooth compared to, which one was it we were having that problem with? Like this type of a situation. This is an example of water marbling with glitter polish. It wasn't a complete fail, but it wasn't, you know, 
I feel like I had a couple others that we we had some like grittiness. Thanks to was that the other batch? Where's the other batch of water marbles? I don't know why I'm still keeping this separate other than in my head. If I'm looking for one, it's from either one of the groups. Okay, so this was our second batch of tests. Oh, look at how bubbly this turned out. That's so weird. That actually is kind of kind of cool. I wonder if I could duplicate that on the nail. I'm pretty sure this happened because the base color was still wet when I dipped it. Although I'm not 100% sure. Um, like, was it this one? This one came out kind of... You see, the lines just aren't very nice and smooth. I think that was due to the silver, which isn't even really a glitter. It's just more of like a heavy sparkle. Yeah, I think it must have been that one. This one too has a little bit of a, what I call like line curdling, where the line just like doesn't, doesn't draw smoothly. <clears throat> Live Love Polish did the same thing. I don't think I have any of them. I haven't ordered from them either. And then immediately get very lazy. <laughs> you guys want that hollow. No hollow on this, especially as I'm considering mattifying it. Because matte hollow is not one of my favorite things. What am I getting like? Yeah, I'm getting dry polish off of the test strips. I mean, I do have hollow like close to hand. Is it a hollow emergency? Just grab a hollow taco. Is this scattered? No, it's linear. Scattered? Yeah. <laughs> the butthole nails. The peach and black. For Anna Christine, hello. Or 14 Anna Christine. Uh, peach and black. Which was that? Oh, that wall. There's this one. That's kind of peachy. We decided that that one was not going to work for water marbling. We did another little tiny small test of it though. Once water marble march is over, I should put like a glossier mat on that. This is like a little quick, super quick drag marble that we did with it. I wish the pattern came through better on on screen, but like it's interesting because it goes. Ooh, there you got some of the blue. Like all, it's invisible. Now it's blue. Now it's pink. Now it's purple. I really like that color. It didn't water marble blow. This is cute too. This is cute too, but it, I'd lean more toward that. So many tests. Oops. You, got, you touched something. Because you pink now. Oh well. They're just tests. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. Mm. You fell asleep? I mean, it's not like you came in here and said you were well rested or anything, Gidge. That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> Always a hollow emergency. No, we just wore hollow. Okay, Dino, did you didn't you see? These the puce hollow. Okay. That where did we put it? Is it still on my desk? Hmm. Where did I put it? Is it still on my desk? Did it go in the box? I just want to show it off one more time. One more again. Here we go. This is what we just 
Hey, 14 Anna Christina, thank you for the follow. This is what we just took off. Which was, I mean, very lovely. So in a way, the lemon lime is like a slightly palate cleanser. Always hard to catch the hollow on ring light. Oh, there we go. Oh, so good. This this is so good. If you guys, oh, come on, camera, camera. If you guys find this on any of the sites that are still carrying Colors by LaRoe. March to a different beat. It certainly is. Oh, we need to clean under those thumbs. Excuse me. Sorry, I didn't get that. I thought I cleaned under there. That's better. This one too, the short one. Okay, let's let's finish this up, you guys. Um, cuticles look good. Polo right thumb needs a little bit, just a little bit more rounding there. Mm, Sausage King water marble. I came across it when I was looking for things. I mean, definitely there will be more hollows water marbled with. None of the stuff that I'm probably doing next. Like, I'm thinking the purple Kylie's are next. These ones? I guess maybe that could be... Th these are the same combination, by the way. They're just different order. Um, one's light to dark and one's dark to light in the in, as far as the dripping order. This, we could maybe put hollow on this. Excuse me, although I wasn't thinking about it. But we could. Um, yeah, bubbles are pressed for the most part, as well as I can. Where'd that nice new bottle of Sesh Feet go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> you have. And you've been sleeping weirdly, which is fine when you don't have a schedule. But it's maybe not fine when you have a schedule. Do it again, though. <laughs> oh, nobody's gonna say no to more hollow pukel <laughs> butthole sausage king water marble what I don't even remember what color is the sausage king is it brown is it butthole colored is it poop colored <laughs> some red hollow more hollow is always the way to go grayish okay let's uh Let's get our top coat on. <clears throat> After cleanup, I made sure to press any bubbles flat and now I'm going to finish everything off with top coat. As usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. Mm. Oh my, this new Sesh Feet is so nice. And everything always looks better with top coat. Ooh, my tips, I think, are not quite fully dry. I got a little tiny dot on the tip of that nail that I don't like. I'm not sure if it's polish or like a little speck of dirt or something though. And I don't want to fuck everything up by trying to get it out when I don't think it even shows up on camera. See this thumb will really, once all those bubbles settle out. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. Corn slash gold flakies. <laughs> you know, for some reason, 
makes me think about like doing actual corn nails which you know what would be kind of a cool way to do corn nails would be with the bubble technique but I wonder how that actually would look because I mean you wouldn't be able to get it like in rows of kernels the way the corn goes but like what if you could or what if it still looked okay hmm now I want to try that I mean I don't know that I'd be able to do it with necessarily gels or pigment I mean I don't have any fucking corn colored pigment Bubble technique is cool, but very, very frustrating. Oh, little hair, I see you. Can you guys see? See, the, the some of the bubbles, even though we pressed them flat, still raised up a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and give the whole thing a second coat. Cause why the fuck not? It'll soothe out any bubbles that rose, and it'll just seal it in there even better. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. And especially if I do decide to mattify it in a day or two, like, matte to me just plays up any little hint of a lump or a bump. Like, you want to have everything extremely, extremely smooth when you're using matte. What do you think I got on my nail? See it right at the tip? That little dot? Ah. Ah. Frustration. Alright. Just stroke out these bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. See it just like bumpity. From bumpity lumpity to glossy and smooth. Hmm? Yeah. Dude, that second coat is just like magic. just magical I mean you guys know that I think Sesh Beat in general is pretty magical but maybe one of the water marbles this, this week I'll try super glossy hollow taco regular taco quick dry taco you know what I mean um because I don't know if it's actually as good as Sesh Beat at doing that sort of leveling out of bubbles on first or second coat. Um, and Sesh Beat does the same thing with like wrinkles too. As we as I showed you guys last week when we got that really unfortunate ding that Sesh Beat just like melted. Just out of curiosity because I probably won't buy more Super Glossy Taco. Unless, like we said, they start selling it in the giant, mega size, big old bottle. That's what's in here is a big old bottle of Sesh Vite, because it's just too expensive. <laughs> Hi, YouTube! <laughs> I guess a speed run. <laughs> With rhinestone corn nubs. <laughs> I mean... Now it sounds like we're talking about another April Fool's alternative to the butthole nails. <clears throat> All right, son. I'm glad you were able to see the finished results. We're just about done here, too. Have a good rest, a restful slumber, and a good day tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Thursday? I, I didn't fully comprehend that today was Wednesday until about, I don't know, half an hour before I streamed. I don't know what day I thought it was. <laughs> yeah I, I really like these they're not a hundred percent how I envisioned 
like a couple of them are these two are pretty good examples even though as we discussed the index nail has a has a part that like was outside of the mat water marble pattern camera please like i really like i like the balance of color on this nail even though i'm not in love with the with the pattern like it got a lot of green and a lot of white like overall if you just glanced at this like you would probably like you see mostly yellow and then you're like oh yeah there's some green too and then you're like oh i guess there's also white but it's good you know is good yeah they are they do have a little bit of an easter feel it's a couple more bubbles rising through on the middle nail but in fact they're starting to rise through a little bit here again too see a couple of them i think as sesh feet finishes curing though it'll probably settle out like these are these are dry to the touch now you could you know um but they're not cured i guess and i i don't know if i should use that word because it's not like they're going under a lamp but they're not fully set fully dry um and sesh feet kind of continues working on its on its smoothing properties until everything is fully cured so yeah the lemon lime swirl water marble the second entry in water marble march 2020 the ninth annual water marble march yeah i mean this is a pretty pale yellow compared to like what do i have that's like a a yellow yellow oh will this reach over here maybe if this was not on top of it whoa 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 cords so like okay you got, can you make it up here compared to like an av cord <laughs> you know it's a lighter yellow it's not like it's not like school bus yellow this is really oh, i'm like at the end of this cord but that was that's i feel like this is a pretty standard yellow to use as a comparison so this is like lighter than that it's not like super super light i don't know that i would even necessarily call it pastel is the darkest you could probably go and have it maybe still be pastel or maybe it's the lightest you could go and not yet be pastel that edge hey lady eleanor oh and filthy glam thank you for the follow thing you did with the paint in the water that you dipped the pencil in when you were a kid i don't remember ever doing that i would have loved to do that as a kid we did this is dipped in water so accurate <laughs> thank you um let me see what is going on in twitch land um tomorrow's thursday tomorrow i do plan on streaming um i do not know what i'm gonna stream tomorrow um so i'll have to think about that and see what kind of a mood i'm in when we get to tomorrow what is going on around here hmm I wish well let me hold on let me look um can I can I remember no isn't no wait can't i can't i can't i okay wait hold on um there that's what i wanted to do okay okay dude that's not nail art i okay never mind i'm too i'm probably slightly too possessive over that tag like, I hate it when I look at nail art and it's like they're not doing nail art. <sighs> Bedtime for you, too. Thanks for hanging out, Michelady. 
Hope you have a restful slumber, a good night, a good tomorrow. All good things. I wish you only the best, everyone. Um, okay, so let's see. What, what are my options here since I do not have nail art options? I don't understand why more nail artists aren't on Twitch. I feel like it's so nice to hang out and do nails instead of just like do nails all by myself. I mean, to make it a, like a community event of sorts. And then everybody's like all doing their nails together. Um, we could, we could do games. I have a couple other creative people going with it. None of them are actually doing nails. Not a lot of Hollow Knight going on right now. I thought maybe Luke had snuck off to stream a little bit of Destiny. But, oh, wait, it's ele it's 11.30. Okay, Luke's in bed. Um, You know, Julia raided us the other day. Maybe let's raid over to Julia. Julia raided us after her Bob Ross stream. Tonight she's not playing Bob Ross. Playing Bob Ross. Act being Bob Ross. Painting. Whatever. Co well... <laughs> I, I need food so that I can resume making sense as a, as a human being. Um, of course, if you are new here and you'd like to join my Discord, please feel free. It is open to everyone. Um, once I decide exactly what is going on tomorrow, um, I'll try to post like an updated announcement and get like a general time frame. Probably eight ish central. Probably. Um, oh, not an exclamation point. I want a slash, slash raid, slash raid. Um, and if you guys would like to simple little raid with me, drop the beanies. What is the side eyes, Gidge? Why are you side eyeing me? Um... I need to get some food. My brain is literally blank. I know that I should have like an ending spiel and I should like know exactly what to say, but like my brain is blank right now. My brain right now, you want to know what it's saying? Saying nachos or salad? I don't know. Oh, my raid attempt. Okay, look, I fixed it. I saw. I just, I, just <laughs> I saw what happened. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening, afternoon or morning, wherever you happen to be in this world that has time zones. I'm really glad you decided to hang out with me tonight and I'm glad you liked my nails. Um, <laughs> not, I mean, you're not wrong, Tay. You're not wrong. Nachos are like my ambrosia. Nachos are S tier. Salad is pretty good tier two, though. Like, I, I don't dislike salad just because I love nachos, but we'll see. Um, like I said, I'll be around tomorrow. I hope I'll see you guys next time. And until then, thanks for watching. Mm. Lava? Julia, did lava. Oh, he's pointing at that guy. No, lava. lava. If this is your first lava. time with us, oh. let me extend a personal invitation. Let's Colette, the low Colette. <laughs> Hang along with us each Simple show. little raid. Hi, Ultra Tay. Hi, Colette. How and of your course, stream? everybody on YouTube, today? thank you for Colette watching. Really cool nails. Col uh, I want to go. This will be up soon. And I want her to do no, my nails. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> this will already be, be up by the time playing? this reaches YouTube. And uh, well, yeah. Joe, I hope you enjoyed. Here's the title. Thanks the game, for watching. Or uh, if you don't.